Happy October, friends! I am so glad that you're here. My name's Emily, and uh, I decided to put myself together for you today. Can you tell? Ooh, <laughs> fancy. So, uh, that was a joke. <laughs> Uh, this is Emmy Lou Arts, and I just wanted to give you a little rundown of what I've been doing lately uh, because I haven't been recording all of it just because I wanted to um, relax. <laughs> I mean, it's relaxing when I do it with you guys, but sometimes I'm still thinking in the background of stuff. So today is just a update of what I've been doing and what I've been doing in my planner and in my uh, in my journal. So I will show you my planner really quick. So you saw my Halloween week that I planned last week. I've been sticking some stickers in there and stuff like that. Oh, I did need to write one thing in here. Do your kids have special things um, like they get to be the special person of the week? Well, Henry is the special person of the week this week. So every day, every day, he has to do something special. So we made a poster for Monday. Tuesday, we have to bring things um, that tell a story about him. Wednesday, we have to put stuff in the estimation jar and send that to school. Thursday is yet another, yet another thing. And Friday is... You guessed it, yet another thing. So, uh, he's loving it. I, I'm just trying to keep my keep my ducks in a row. Uh, so I gotta get stuff for the estimation jar for Wednesday. But yeah, I just have been putting stickers in here, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, and what I really wanted to show you was that I had been playing in the monthly insert um, basically loving life, living my best life, doing some art in here. And so I showed you October. Um, it didn't turn out to be my favorite, but it's cute. But can I just tell you that November and December, I, I don't know guys, there's just something, there's something. There's November. If you can hear rushing water, it's because somebody flushed a toilet upstairs. I used the sticker kit from Carpe Diem, uh, and then washi that I had, and I think it's so cute that I could barf looking at it. It's so cute. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at that. And then I just got, let's see, um, fall themed scrapbook paper. I found this little um, scrapbook pad, fall, let's see, is there even a brand? I don't think there's a brand, but I found it at Tuesday morning, and look at the pretty fall colors, like, it's not like, um, ugly fall, it's like super pretty fall. So I used some of this plaid, because I kind of tried to choose ones that matched, and look at this, fall floral, oh, oh. That's so pretty. It's so pretty. Ooh, and that navy and orange, something about it. Um, so you'll be seeing more of those papers in the coming weeks. But so I played with this um, and decorated November, and then I just went full on ham and did December too. And this is so out of my norm of what I enjoy, like decoration style wise but I can't get over how cute it is this is also from the carpe diem sticker kit um the months kit and I just think it's adorable look at these little elf shoes and it just makes me so happy in the little penguin oh I, you guys seriously it's killing me and I'm trying to have like some self-control and not just immediately do um, January now because look at how cute January is. I also, I made an appointment to get my roots done. Do you appreciate that? Yep. So I won't be looking so haggard here in about a week. Okay. Look at January. O. M. 
F G. So cute. It's like navy and mint. Oh. <sighs> Carpe diem. You make me so happy. Okay. So that's what I've been doing in this. My little months calendar. And then I used the same, these little number blocks because they matched perfectly. And those... I was trying to do the voiceover in the car the other day, but couldn't remember anything as per usual. And it was, they're from a um, Heidi Swap kit. They were from a Heidi Swap kit. This thing, Heidi Swap Storyline Journaling Sticker Kit. And this was also from Tuesday morning and it was like $2, but look at all these stickers. Well, there's like a bunch of these, but it came with a ton of these number packs and there was green and pink and then some sayings and then a bunch of these journaling like card stickers, which I thought would be awesome for the left hand side of my um, my week insert that I decorate, you know, so I could have some place to write. So I think they were pretty good buy if you ask me, but... Let's see. What else? So I did this and then today I did record this process video, but I don't know. I don't know if you'll want to see the whole thing because really it's not it's not all that interesting. It was just um, a little bit of journaling, but um do you not I could just oh, uh so I, my husband for Valentine's Day got me this fountain pen. Have you ever played with a fountain pen? I think this is the fountain pen, um, the Metropolitan came in this package. And then he got me these inks to go with it. And this is sadly the first time that I've actually gotten it out and played with it. It's so fun. I love it. Um, I've heard like once you get into fountain pens that you just love them. Uh, I do like this one. Um, a big problem I have is when I'm journaling, I have, I struggle from a hand fatigue. Um, <laughs> no, like writing fatigue. And uh, so I thought maybe the fountain pen, they're like a lot smoother. So it's supposed to help your Mommy. hand. Yes, love. Yes. All right. So I showed you yesterday the journal that I did. So today I just sat down and I did a little fall journaling. Um, I had some scrapbook, some collage papers that I collected from a few real simples that I had laying around. So I just made kind of a fall, folly type thing using some die cuts and just images that I tore out of. A real simple. And then I did some journaling with my fountain pen and then some watercolor over the top of it. And it sort of smeared the ink a little bit, but I really love it for some reason. I just like how it looks. And then I used some of my washi tape, fall washi, just on the edge and then um, made a little tag with the washi tape here. So... I just, it's been raining for the last three days. <laughs> I just wanted to do, just wanted to sit and do something that made me feel happy and kind of cozy. Um, kind of like that, what is that thing that went around that was so big in 2016 or 17? I can't remember. H Huga? Hugo. Huga? Something like that. It's like that Danish word for coziness or just a feeling of happiness. Um, I was just trying to, I was doing that today, just creating a feeling of coziness and enjoying life's simple pleasures because it's been so rainy and cruddy and hazy and, not hazy, foggy and chilly, which feels good, but also feels like, I don't know, like the end of summer. And I just didn't really realize it was actually the end of summer. <laughs> and, um... But it's fine. It's the coming of the holiday season, which we always have so much fun. 
So I just wanted to show you what I've been doing in my notebooks and encourage you guys to give this a shot. I know in my last video I talked about trying journaling and if you hadn't um, to just try it. And I know that sounds so stupid. Like if, if you haven't journaled, just do it. <laughs> like, ugh, duh. Well, I mean, I know it's not that easy. It totally is not that easy. And it's, it is, can be, what's the word? It can be intimidating staring at a blank sheet of paper and knowing that you have to fill it. <laughs> Go play your math game. I love you. <laughs> Uh, it can be intimidating trying to like fill pages, but that's why I like to sit down and not put any expectations on myself and do it all in one journal. Like put things, you know, pictures from my sprocket, um, pictures from my sprocket and images from magazines. Um, this is just, I don't know, this is an old, old magazine, but just flip through and, uh, and pick images that just that you just like or words that you like um, and then you can use those in your journaling um, and you don't even have to write if you don't want to it can just be images it can just be like art journaling because honestly for me this this was kind of like journaling it was sort of therapeutic it's like creating that that feeling that you just need at a certain time um, and it just sort of warms your heart. That's journaling. Um, so it doesn't have to be anything in particular. And your words don't have to be groundbreaking. You're not like writing the next American novel. You can just write about what you did that day or, you know, like my husband and my son have a den meeting tonight. I wrote about that and how I thought that the fountain pen was going to help my hand not feel tired, but I wasn't sure if it was actually working. So mm -hmm. groundbreaking stuff, you guys. But um, it just made, made me happy. So I, I do this in the midst of my other actual real world responsibilities for all of you that think that I just do useless things all day. <laughs> so kind of does. Henry! <laughs> Who washes your undies and puts them away? Me. Doctor. Who picks you up from school? Doctor. Who cuts up your apples? Me. Doctor. Me. Me. Stop it. This is going to be live. Stop it. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, nothing structured, but that's what we get. And uh, that's all I got. So I hope you guys have a good day. And if you try journaling, let me know how it goes. Bye. Mm -hmm.